Hello everyone, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. I have to work three jobs just to make it. Let's get started and talk about it. Many times when I do these talking head videos, I have a list of like number one, two, three. I have everything on an outline and planned out. Well, this is a scary thing, folks. I have no idea what's going to come out of my mouth, so it could be interesting. I'm going to get right into it. Things have really changed over the last several years. I do always like to start off with a positive note. I have a lot to be grateful for. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for my health. I'm grateful for you fabulous, wonderful, intelligent subscribers and viewers. I have a lot to be grateful for. So thank you to everyone, first of all. I do have to say, sometimes it does get a little frustrating just to be real, honest, and authentic with you, seeing prices of so many things going up. When I think that actually maybe... 15 years ago, our electric bill was about half of what it is now. Our house taxes were about half of what they are now. And basically, this is the thing that really is upsetting, that job fees or, and wages, depending what you're doing, have not kept up even close to what inflation is whatsoever. And that's the thing that makes it challenging. Now, the positive thing in my book is, there's so many opportunities to make money now that maybe I didn't have back in the 1980s. When I graduated college, there weren't a whole lot of jobs out there. I graduated in 87, and there just weren't that many jobs in the 1980s. Now, there's a lot of options out there, which is a lot better. The issue is you can't live off one income unless you are a higher wage earner. People say, yes, you can live a frugal budget. Can you live a frugal budget? It depends if you can keep your housing low, your transportation low, and you don't have a lot of health needs. If you can keep those three things low, yes, you can. But if you're a homeowner and you can't get out and chop down a tree yourself, you can't fix your foundation yourself, you've got to have some kind of backup. So many people have said, Money Mom, you could really cut your budget and live off a really low, extremely frugal budget. The main reason that I don't want to do that is, number one, I don't want to go back into debt. I recently told you guys I had a tree removed in my backyard. I got quoted over 3000 to have that removed. Because I was able to pay cash, I got it taken care of, including stump, for 1700 And all of you that wrote comments said that that was a really good deal. I'll definitely use Sal's tree service again. If you live in Dallas, I highly recommend non-sponsored. But that, luckily, I had the money for that. The reason that I work three jobs isn't so much just to pay the bills. It's so that we can keep one year of bills in our savings. So if something happens with one source of income or a major home repair, such as foundation work or buying a vehicle or getting a tree removed or save something with plumbing and or possibly losing some of your money or somebody has a health issue and at least what I call buys us some time. That's to me what that money is for. And so that's why I schedule mystery shopping. That's why I do YouTube and that's why I do demos. Goodness is that I love all three of them because I get to work with fabulous, wonderful people, which is great. So I do work quite a bit, and sometimes I would like a little more rest. And I actually am cutting back on some of my project management so that I can focus more time doing demos because that's where I really shine, and that's something that I'll be doing. But I am grateful for all my sources of income, but I do have to be honest and say it is frustrating to see prices of so many things going up. That is why it is so powerful that all of us communicate so well because I think there's a lot of options out there for all of us. In other words, many people think they're stuck paying certain prices. But if we all did our research, there may be a lot of options out there for us that we haven't even considered yet. And this is, uh, and this is my opinion. I know not all of us have an opportunity to make extra money. Everybody's situation is different. I know it's great to cut your budget and cut out things that you don't value. But in all honesty, I think one of the best things that people can do is to try to work and see if you can make some extra money somehow doing something that you like to do because having more money gives you so many more options and it really does help you have a healthy savings and to stay out of debt 
So that's what I'm doing. Do I love the economy? Do I love, you know, the lower wages and everything being so costly? No, I can't change everything, but I can change how I respond to it. And that's what I'm doing. And right now I'm just working multiple jobs so that I have that wiggle room and I have all the options that I do have. Let me know what you guys think. Have any of you picked up a part-time job or side hustle? Are you doing things to make extra money so it gives you some more freedom in your life? Let me know what you think. Or is it better for you to perhaps cut some of the spending? In my opinion, you can only cut so much. And I'm just grateful to have the work opportunities that I do have. So, and it's really important also, I want to add this, to find work that you enjoy doing. Whether it's doing crafts, babysitting, doing demos. I recommend this to everybody. Doing product demos and passing out samples is probably one of the funnest jobs yet. And also starting a fabulous YouTube channel. So let me know what you guys think. Let's all of us work together, come up with creative ideas, and stay as positive as we can while we navigate this economy and the inflation. That's all I have to say for now. I love you. I appreciate you. And I sure hope to see you on tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye.